this is uh, I am Abdu and uh, yes A B D O U. Yes, Abdu. That. Yes, some people say Abdul. No, this one is Abdul. not Abdul. It's just Abdul. Yeah. Let's spell, it, let's spell it for them. I mean A B D O U. Oh. That's that's the, that's the same. Abdul and Abdul is the same. It is Abdul means the servant. And uh, according to the name of God that is gonna come, you, see, you are grammatically you say Abdul Rahman or you say Abdul Wahab. That's it. But that's the same. Abdul and Abdul are the same. I am Abdul Gay. Abdul is my first name. Uh, Gay is my last name. And uh, our driver is Mesa. Mesa Njai. Mesa is his first name. Njai is last. And uh, my spare tour guide and uh, Bomani's friend, I mean, all of us are friends, is Usman. Usman. Usman, yes. Usman Gate. Um, you know, uh, in Africa, first, uh, last names tell the ethnic group you belong to. You know that we have several ethnic groups. In Senegal, we have around 14 or 15 of them. Uh, uh, so people are, you know, you, some people are um, Serer, Wolof, that's the main one. And all three of us are Wolof, belong to Wolof tribe. Exactly, Wolof is not an ethnic group. It's rather a, a, a language. Uh, and uh, it's, um, you know, we live in the Jalof country, J-O-L-O-F. And in Jalof, people speak Wolof. And uh, all of us belong to the same area. So we have other, other ethnic groups, like Serer, S-E-R-E-R. -E and they live in the center of the country. We have um, Mandingos in the Gambia in the north of the, of the southern part of the country. We have uh, Fulanis living all, all around the riverside. And we have uh, also Jola. Jola, you want to ask? Jola. Jola. Flies, uh, you know, flies are, uh, flies are Senegal, Senegal citizens. Please don't kill them. <laughs> it would be a murder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're going to get rid of them. We're going to tell them to, that they're not welcome, and they will understand that. And, uh, you know, so we have 14, 15 ethnic groups. Uh, and the most, the most spread one is Wolof. From the north, along the uh, river side, Senegal River, to the, uh, to the Gambia, we speak Wolof. And as far as industries and universities and the capital city, were in the north, in the Wolof country, in the, in the Jalof, uh, most of us speak Wolof because they need to interact with people. Uh, Senegal is a small country, definitely not that big. And now uh, it's 196,976 square kilometers. And uh, the name of the country comes from Zinega. People say that, uh, I mean, Senegal. People say that when the first Europeans came over in the early 14th century, they asked the name of pointing out the river. And the natives thought they wanted to know the name of the, uh, their boat. That's your boat, if you want. And Europe is Sen, in Wolof, and boat is Gal. So Sen Gal means your boat. That is, one, one version. Some other people say that, you know, in the northern part of the river, we have some um, Mauritanians, they are Berberians, and they are white, and used to cross the river, snatch girls and kids to enslave them. I mean, uh, in Mauritania, slavery was abolished in 1984. Wow. I'm telling, yes. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. that was, officially abolished, the law was made. But till now, if you went there, you would point out by yourself that this one is a slave. The way he is treated, the way he walks. Because officially it is, but you can just tell somebody, you're free, go. Where to? Nothing to do. So, wherever you have a big village, you have a small part, um, a kind of ghetto where former slaves are living, doing certain works for people to get uh, 
something to eat, to earn a living. So it's not, it's not definitely, um, it's not, um, how can I say that? I mean, it's officially abolished because in Africa, between what is official texts and practice, you have a Thanks. Atlantic Ocean. And uh, <clears throat> those Zenega used to snatch girls and boys. And mothers, to prevent their kids from being snatched away, used to tell them to be aware of the, uh, the Zenegas. And pointing, pointing out their direction, pointing out the river, kids thought that Zenega was the name of the river. And Zenega gave the mispronunciation of Senegal. So Senegal is this. Um, and Mauritania is now a northern border. In the east, we had the um, the Mali. Mali is um, an Africa. Um, it was French Sudan. I mean, French Sudan. Sudan comes from Soda. Soda meaning black. And Sudan is the country of black people. And the northern part of Africa was called Baydan. Baydan is um, is uh, the country of white people. And Sudan. So, after uh, south of uh, sub-Saharan countries to South Africa, we are all of us black people. And those people, <clears throat> and those Sudan, French Sudan, became Mali after independence when they made a federation with Senegal. And they, I mean, uh, they called it Mali, Mali Empire. You've heard about it, uh, Kanka Musa, uh, who made his pilgrimage in the early 13th century and that the uh, we got inflation of the uh, the price of goat because Sudan was so rich in goat that he was uh, followed by his subject to his sacks of goat he used he was he gave away to his uh, house all the way to, to Mecca to, uh, of his pilgrimage and um, he came back I mean People just talk about him, and the empire was uh, the heydays of the empires were in the early 13th century. And uh, <clears throat> when we made the, the, the confederation, the federation between Senegal and French Sudan, we call it Mali on behalf of that empire. And because of um, when, um, you know, uh, some African leaders by that time, some of us wanted to be still stuck to French, France, and some others want to be definitely free. I mean, they split the, uh, the federation after how long? Because <clears throat> it was a large federation that was Senegal, uh, French Sudan, uh, Yupo Volta, that is uh, Burkina Faso nowadays, and Niger, Ivory Coast. But Ivory Coast said that they don't want to be um, in a federation just to feed the federation that Senegal would be the leader. So, I mean, that's the way. Instead of thinking pan African, they just thought themselves and their, their product. And um, so the Senegal and French Sudan became the, uh, the Mali Empire, and they split uh, six months later. And Mali stayed Mali, and we came back to Senegal. And um, in the south of Senegal, we have two Guinea. We have, yes, to the south. Yes, Guinea. One is Guinea Conakry Guinea, made uh, which was a French colony. And you have Portuguese Guinea, that was um, the South Guinea, that was a Portuguese colony. Mm. You're right. Yeah. And. All along the western part of Senegal, we have the Atlantic Ocean. From St. Louis to Cap we have more than 780 kilometers of coast. All coast, sandy coast, except in the, uh, in the middle, where we have some, uh, have some marsh, and by the peninsula of Dakar, where we had, a long time ago, we had a, a volcano and all the, uh, the coast is rocky. That's the only rocky part of this country. And uh, I'm just gonna introduce to you some things, some points. And
and uh, Senegal have uh, around 17 million people. 17 million people, as I told you, split into um, 14, 15 ethnic groups. And you know, 17 million, when we were just 40 years old, we were taught that we were, I mean, in 1969, that we were 4 million people. And 70, we were 80 million. And nowadays we are 17 million people. This is due to the fact that uh, Senegalese ladies make a lot of kids. They're very fertile? Yeah, they are, sure. Okay. They're very fertile. The minimum number of kids per woman is 12. They can have, yes, they can have more. 12? I mean, I thought they stopped making women like that like, tw like 30 years ago. <laughs> it's 12. And you know, usually and in some other countries, and they're black, but they can't get more than four or five kids. And imagine when you have, as far as you Muslims, if you have four wives, each of them having eight to 12 kids. So imagine how many soccer team you're gonna get and basketball team. And hey, that's a black empire right there, man. You just gotta come up with the, the you know, just gotta come up with the financials. But you know, <laughs> by that, by, um, we could understand that years and years ago. I mean, yeah. we still understand it because, you know, uh, people have power. More people you have, more power you have. That was it. And in the family, if you had by yourself, you had just your wives and your kids for a three months rainy season. You get, you have, you need people to work because tools were very, very simple. That was a stick, it's a piece of iron on the edge of that you use. You need more hands to help you work out. So more kids you have, more hands you have. And that would fill up the, uh, the granaries, the silos if you want, and have people eat and feed, you could feed everybody. But nowadays you have less work because we have you know, the engines to use and we have um, people just go work in the in cities <clears throat> because uh, of development. And those 40, um, 17 million Senegalese are divided into three religions. Somebody said that's not definitely because we are 96 of us are Muslims, 3% are Christians, and 1% well, is animist. Animist is the religion of our forefathers. And there's a writer who said that uh, we are. 100% animist. Yes. Because no matter what religion you are, what is your faith, you kept some practice that are really animist. Animist is the traditional religion that in which we believe that our, our forefathers, our, I mean, that things have souls. A tree, a mask. A sculpture. Not that they were born with their or made with their souls, but that the soul of their of our ancestors who have been alive and who experienced this life and who passed away, who are our ambassadors to the Almighty. So every event, maybe a uh, beginning of rainy season or uh, a birth, we had to do sacrifice power um, to pour uh, wine for some people or milk or slow to a goat or a chicken according to what you want. Organize the dance to ask to them uh, the ancestors so to be our ambassadors so that God made things happen. This is the uh, hundred percent of us. 96 are Muslims. Islam came in in the early 11th century. In the first Senegalese to be a Muslim was Wardjabi. Wardjabi in 10th 
1030, the Kemal Masjid do the Shahada, and in 1032, he memorized the Quran, and 1035, he went to Mecca. So he was the first Senegalese, and he was a king. That's one of the reasons why a king, because um, as far as you didn't have writings, kings needed somebody to write their decisions, their decrees, and the, there were some Arabs traders, they used like scripts, and those guys helped them to record on whatever they want, and they influenced him, so he became a master. That's why, coming from the, the head of the society, the bottom just converted because, I mean, embraced Islam because the king was, but they kept the practice of their ancestors' religion. And uh, that's what in the, I mean, you know about it, Islam, the Shahada, and whatever. So, and next point, is, next religion is Christianism. It came in in the early uh, 15th century with Europeans coming over. They brought Christianity. That's why um, all the um, church, all the, all the church are made in the 18th, 19th century. Um, if you have questions. Well, there's kind of a lot of cameras here. We are, we have, uh, there are around, I said, three percent of us. Yes, official. Uh, official. But you know, um, as I said, Muslim or Christian, we've kept some animist practice. For instance, Christians have several wives. Catholics have one wife at the church, and another wife under the part of the church. It was disturbed in the wife. How about the Jewish? How? The Jewish. The Jewish. Uh, we don't have. No, we don't have, I mean, Jewish. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe um, people from Israel coming over, or other part, but authentically we don't have Jewish. Um, that religion was in um, Ethiopia. They, they will have some blood Jewish. We don't have it. Well, well, perfect. I'll do a perfect introduction. Up the Jalaf rice, the Liberians, the Ghanaians, yeah, the, 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 the Gandians, the Nigerians. Nigerians. Yeah. And who else do Jalaf rice? I mean, you know, even in the Gambia, we have some, some Jalaf people speaking Wolof. Because, uh, but, I mean, you know, borders in, in Africa. Who made that? European colonies. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
they colonized us. They, I mean, I have last, I mean, what was it? Um, March the third, I was in, in the Gambia because one of my niece <laughs> was celebrating something over there. You know, I went there. We have the same family. My uncle is living there. Any Senegalese more or less have a castle over there. And any Gambian have a uncle. Well, what is this over here? The only thing is all, they are all these new cities they build yes, in. This is a new city they build in. Family. I've been driving. Is it the arena? Basketball. Basketball arena. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes. So that's the right there. Yeah. And I we have the soccer. And that's the end of the city. I'm not so, we passed it. So, so soon everybody's gonna move out of the car and move over here. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we we hope so because that car is a peninsula. Yeah, exactly, it's like the, the, it's like everything goes on in that one little part of the country. One little part of the country. We are yeah. uh, one the fifth, the sixth of wow. the country. Everything so I was away for and two we, years, um, and since I've been back, they've been to work. And everybody can get in and out at the same time. So my first country in our family, Senegal. Move the uh, the city right here. We built the uh, main ministries to develop this area. We have a lot of a lot has happened since the two years since our last uh, yes, we we came, April 2021. <laughs> so right. so family go, go, go goes fast. Got an M right now. Oh, you know, that's what I meant to ask you. Um, the construction that was going on at the airport, was that the uh, train station? Yep. So we can literally get a, a train from the car. Oh, yes, from the car to the, the airport. Of the car. Right here is the end of the car. That's where the car is. Where the building is, that's where the car is. Oh, wow. Oh, so that's, so that's, so that's, so that's, new, that's new the car then? That's new the car? That's the end of the car. Or is it called something else? Is it new the car? Yeah, the end of the car. We call it Jump Yagi. Jump Yagi, which is an island. Okay, but we go right now to the to the emblem of Senegal, what is the lion and the baobab. When we heard about the baobab tree, truly baobab is not a tree, it's a herb. That's the most biggest herb of the world. Because everything is just sponges inside, just fiber. And baobab can be used to heal people like you know, if they have like some kind of if they, if they have like some kind of problem. Know, some head problem, if they have some sleeping problem also as well, they can like boil the roots and drink like you know the baobab as tiza to just like you know make it easy. It down. means that I mean and in Wolof the word tree is said galop G A R A P the word medicine is galop D A R A P so meaning that every tree has medical purposes. And in the baobab tree, as I said, these are good for digestion. We use it in the millet couscous. And uh, the food that we call monkey bread, when you crush it, there's a white powder in it. You put it into water to get a milk. It's excellent for uh, diarrhea. If you have diarrhea and you drink it, it's a good antibiotic. Now, um, what other kind of tree? For instance, mango trees. We use mango tree leaves against high blood pressure, against uh, chitons. So, so any tree, um, when you use what the other tree, um, we call it quinine tree, neem tree. Yes, that grows everywhere. And the best one is the Senegalese one, because I'm Senegalese. But, <laughs> and that's it too, that's it. I did tell you, somebody made studies on it and said that the best one they found is the Senegalese one. There you go, there you go. It's the best, that's not <laughs> And then when you go to Ghana, it's the same thing. <laughs> okay. Well, because, they, because the, 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 the guy who writes the research the over there is a Ghanaian. <laughs> as, as, as a, as a Pan-Africanist, as a Pan-Africanist, we just take like, you know, all those countries are just a country. Because Africa is a country, it's not a continent. <laughs> I love it. After they give everything what they do, they say like, we can become more stronger than them. They say, now let's go and divide Africa in a piece of cake. If we divide it, they can control on spot and spot and spot. That's what French did and English people did. But most likely, the first people that even like come to here in Africa, they just like go and probably like two countries and they didn't stay. That's Portugal people. Portuguese and the Dutch and the Dutch they didn't like colonize like nobody you know they just live it like that but by fact like what I was telling about the baobab if you got the body you can make some rope and some strings that you know back on the days we use with the sap of the baobab we can have some glue 
and the fruit of the baobab can stop diarrhea or prevent diarrhea to come. The baobab could live for 28 centuries, 2,800 years. And we got a tribe named Serer, as the guru, the history tells us, they never get buried underground. They used to bury them inside the baobab because the inner side of the baobab is a hole. And matter of fact, the biggest baobab of Senegal have 32 meters of diameter and is over 2,000 years late now. And we, we, we have the lion, you know, the king, the king of the jungle. Why? Because I think like Senegal is the most western country in Africa. And everything departs from here. If you got the word Senegal, like backwards, if you backwards Senegal, you got the Genesis. That's the beginning. That's why Senegal used to be the most important one in the whole western coast of Africa, geographically speaking. Because the coast of Senegal are closer to America. And John Hawkins used to be the first man that deported slaves from here to America. That was back in 1532. He didn't get them to Louisiana, he got them to Key West. Yes, my brothers. Appreciate it. Appreciate the welcome and the introduction to Senegal. Yes, so family, you so are welcome. So welcome back home anyway, huh? You're welcome, welcome to Senegal. Welcome back home. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, As we say, you, the dialect says we can be king only at home. No matter what, where we're from, if you are black, we're from Africa. That's right. There you go, that's family. That's there you go. So hopefully, everybody that's is right. excited that's and ready. That's the place to be. And the puzzle, the puzzle that we didn't have right to build our Africa is our country that is out. But we're blessed. We have somebody like Boman that at least can bring our people that we can see them, you know, and talk about it and see how it's going to be like the solution. Because that's the only puzzle that we got left. Because you guys know about the technology, you know about the system, you guys know about those crackers, you know. You come over here and break like everything. And you know, we just we just leave our Africa. There you go, man, the white devil. Because there. like, you know, that's a lot of, lot of industry over there. Everything is pollution. Yeah. And the yeah, only right. nature, you see how God works? Yeah. The only nature now left in the world is in Africa. We build everything for them. All the Western hemisphere into hard labor. The values that they say, you know, what is like unbelievable, like, you know, how you can like sell a human being. The most biggest genocide revenue is the one that been Europe. And today Africa didn't get the credibility and Africa still feed them. When Afri out Africa, none of them will go. USA, you know, the United of Europe, none of them will go. Our fish, our gold, our diamond, everything, our sisters, our brothers, everything like, you know, is Africa. Now, if you know that, that's why they have like to learn about that supremacy. But if you look at like intelligently, we know like, you know, we higher than them. We stronger than them, we live longer than them, you know, we, we everything, we, you know, we better. Now, how to overthrow that system into the system of the black people that we used to have back on the day? It was like a good line of trade. So, I think like, you know, what they say, like, we cannot put like, you know, the gold inside, you know, I mean, I mean inside the oven, you gotta break it, small by small, one by one, get your question out of, and ask, we're, we're ready for it. Thank you very much. We got some Balanta people of, over here in Senegal also. We have 18 languages that we're speaking in Senegal, but the main language is Wolof, and it's not a tribe, it's a language from Asia. Because when the Arab come and chase us like, you know, on the seven centuries, those people come down, all the way down together. But we have found out everything that civilization from Africa. But when we found the plus and the minus that can make guns and bombs, we didn't make it. They come and get it and go and make it and come against us again. Okay? That's, that's what the problem is. Appreciate you much, appreciate you much. So family, the journey continues and we're about about 30 minutes away from the car and uh, we're gonna continue uh, with another session.